Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be talking about painting your own shoes. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I paint shoes as a hobby. I also sell shoes online. And one thing that people often ask is, can I paint my own shoes as well? And the answer is yes, of course. Anybody can paint their own shoes. So here are some tips that you should take in order to customize your own shoes the way you want them. So throughout the years, I've learned a lot of little tips and tricks that I like to apply for my shoes whenever I'm painting them. The one thing that I like to do is before I start anything is to prep my canvas. So many people like to just start sketching their design straight to the shoe. And I honestly found that if you sketch your design on the shoe once you start painting you will often need more than one coat of paint so it's almost like you're painting your shoe two times if you prep your shoe with a base before that it will come out a lot a lot nicer the paint will last a lot a lot longer as well so what i do is i like to put one coat of paint straight on the shoe wait a day and then start sketching my design for example these shoes um these are Peter Pan shoes. I don't know if you could see them that well from there. But if you notice, they have kind of like a blue tone to them. So what I did is um, I painted the enti entire shoe blue. And then from there, I started to sketch my design. I feel like doing that saves you a lot of time and the product looks a lot better in the long run. Right after I paint my shoe and I wait a day for it to dry, I start to sketch my design, but I don't sketch my design directly on the shoe. What I like to do is I like to get a sheet of paper and I cut it about the size of the shoe and I like to sketch my design on that paper. The reason I do this is because I like to practice before I actually put it on, on my shoe. Once my design is ready, I have the paper sketched out, it looks great. Then I put it on my shoe uh, and it looks great on the shoe already. What I like to do is I like to trace my design with Sharpie afterwards. And the reason I do this is because I found that if you trace it with Sharpie, it's a lot easier to see your design. Sometimes when you just have it with pencil, in certain lighting especially, if you start looking, it kind of gets confused. Let me see if I could bring it in, there we go. So the tower I traced with Sharpie. The bridge I traced through Sharpie as well, and then the little river, you could say, I traced it with Sharpie as well. Everything else, I just um, left it alone because it would be too much clutter. But see, I wanted to focus, now you can't see it in the video, but there's a lot of detail here. I wanted to be able to see where all the detail went, and I just didn't want to paint all over all of that. So I find that that works a lot best when you're working with shoes. The thing that I do, once it's done, the Sharpie is on and everything, I start painting the shoe. These are some of the paints that I like to use. Uh, it's Liquitex Soft Body. The reason I like this one is because it's extremely pigmented. It's really, really pigmented. And it also comes out really smooth. It's very lightweight, very liquidy. So it looks great on the shoe. So the other paint that I like to use is the Liquitex Heavy Body. This one is just as pigmented as the other one, but it's a lot thicker. And the reason I like this one is because if you want to put a good um, solid base, like a foundation on your shoe, this is the perfect product for that. Because it the, the thickness is not chunky, it's just really creamy. And once it dries, it gives you the perfect surface to work on and to sketch on. So this is, uh, this is perfect for like a base on your shoe. And then the other paint that I'm in love with, I started using this paint recently because a friend introduced me to this paint. He wanted me to customize some shoes for him. So they were, I don't know, I think they were Adidas, I'm not sure. But I started looking through the page of this brand of paint and a lot of the shoes that this paint kind of is known for, you could say, are like Jordans, Nikes, and shoes like that. So I never thought it would work well with Vans, but I was 
I was wrong because it is amazing. Uh, the paint I'm talking about is called Angelus. So I think they only sell this paint online. I've tried to look for it at stores, but I'm pretty sure they don't sell it at stores. So the next question that I get answered uh, asked a lot is, um, how many bottles of paint should I buy? How many colors do I need? And you really do not need that many colors. I bought, you know, the little soft bodies that I use. I bought a box and in the box, uh, I believe six come in the box. Black, white, red, green, yellow, blue. I think, I think those are the, uh, the colors. And with those colors, I did this entire shoe. So if you notice, it's a pretty colorful shoe. And then it has this other one the bow and everything. You can mix your colors and you can make a wide variety of different colors and so that's all you need. You really don't need that many colors. Just your basic primary colors will be enough to mix and make uh, beautiful colors out of. The other question that I get asked a lot is what kind of brushes I use and I like to use these brushes from Artist Loft. Here is the info. This one right here, if you could see it, oh, can you see it? It's tiny. I mean, it looks like a little eyeliner uh, brush. It's perfect for all the little details you would Another brush that I also use a lot is also from Artist Loft. It's this one right here. And I'll put pictures so you guys could see them a little bit better. The only thing I do have to say is that for every shoe that I paint, I tend to buy a new set of brushes. The only reason is because uh, with this brush, especially this tiny little one that's very, very um, thin, it be kind, becomes kind of dull after a while of using it. And then when you try to do really tiny detail, they don't come out as smooth, as straight as you would want them. Especially if it's like a special order, um, I will make sure I buy a brand new brush. Now I come to my sealer. It has taken me years to find the perfect sealer. It really has. It works amazing. Uh, it's also Liquitex. Have you noticed that I really like Liquitex? Um, I'll put a picture of this because I know you can't see it with the glare. It's called Liquitex Gloss Varnish. And seriously, the finish is amazing. Uh, the shoe looks a lot nicer, shiny. It looks really nice once you put the sealer. So what I do is I put one coat of sealer, I wait an hour, I put a second coat, I wait an hour, then I put a third coat and I wait a full day for them to dry before um, I actually send them or ship them this out. This sealer is so good that it will keep the paint from chipping off, coming off completely. Um, you can actually even stick the shoes in the washer and they will still be pretty good condition. I've had these shoes that I painted for myself. These are the only ones I've painted for myself. I've had them for over three years. I wear these shoes everywhere when we go to the park with the kids, um, anything. I mean, look how worn and beat they are. And the paint is still really good. I mean, obviously you could see where it's creased because my, look, my shoe's even ripping right here. So, but the paint is still intact. And these are really old shoes. I mean, these shoes have gone through a lot. So, if you could see, the paint still looks good. And see how you could actually bend these shoes? You know, a lot of people are afraid that when I paint some shoes and they get them, they're gonna be like all stiff. They're not. This this paint is really really good and so is the sealer. I mean you could bend them and everything so I Hope that all of these tips were useful and that you could actually paint your own shoes and Create the art you want anything you want to do you can do on your shoes. You do not have to be a professional artist I knew nothing about painting especially on shoes 
Um, and now I've been doing it for three years, learning slowly, and I love it. So if you have any questions, comments, or even any suggestions on products that you found that are, work well, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.